how to create presentation slides like this in Canva. Go to your home page, click video, and then this dimension. Click R on your keyboard so a rectangle pops up. Let the rectangle fill the screen just like this. Duplicate it and then reduce the size. This is going to be your text box. Add some corner rounding and then change the color to any color of your choice. Now you want to add your text. Change the color and rotate your text to minus 90 degrees. You can come to position where you see rotate and then put in the number. Reduce the size. Now you are going to duplicate this page, all of this, you will duplicate the rectangle, change the color and then the text. You are going to do this four times so you have four different colored rectangles. Now that you have your four rectangles, you have to duplicate this page so you have two pages and then you are going to begin to design each of the rectangles so delete all of this first go to element search for polaroid click on graphics then pick any option of your choice let's go with this one Change the color to white. Go to elements, search for grid. Now we're going to reduce the size of this. Send this backwards. We want the head to pop out, so this is perfect. Go to your images, select the image you want to use, and then drag it and drop it inside the grid. Remove background, and this is what we have. Make sure it is well aligned. Now put in your text, then duplicate the page again, which is that first page. Then repeat the same process, we'll delete this ones. And now we want to highlight the kit box, that's the kit rectangle. So we'll delete every other rectangle, so take out this one. Make this fill the screen. Put in your image and your text, just like we have here. So this is what we have. Duplicate this again. But first, let's change the color of this background. This is perfect. Now, duplicate this first page. Drag it downwards like this and delete every other rectangle except Andrea. 
we are highlighting the third rectangle and taking every other out so make this fill the screen and then put in your image and the text to add shadow simply search for shadow we're using this option rotate it minus 90 degree Now we are going to duplicate this page again for the last rectangle, which is Julia. So take every other rectangle out. So delete every other rectangle. Make this fill the screen. Put in your text just like you did before. Now, let us move this first page to make it the last because we want to download each of these pages as a PNG. We download the four pages as a PNG transparent background. Then you will have to re-upload them back into your design. Once you are done re-uploading all four, you will create a new page. So click new page. Then you will start to upload all of them onto the design, just like this. So this is the first. This is the second. Just make them fill the screen. You can see it's coming together nicely. The third, which is this. Make it fill the screen. And then the last one, which is this one. Now we are going to move this back because I want the Tifa, which is the purple one, to be the one forward, just like this. What you want to do, click Ctrl A on your keyboard and select everything, then move to the right. Just like this, till nothing is left of the image. Now put in your text like this or anyone you want to use and then we want to hide all of these pages so all of this we'll just hide them because we don't need them anymore now let's continue we are going to duplicate this page delete the text and begin to bring each of them forward so this is the first one drag it forward and then drag it down like this so that the other name tags can show duplicate the page take this back downwards and then bring forward the second rectangle which is this one. Then you want to drag it like this. You will just repeat the same process for the third and for the fourth rectangles.
Now that you are done, you will click here and duplicate this page because we want it to be our last page. So we could just write please to meet you or any text of your choice. Let's add a transition. So click here and click add transition. Click match and move and make it one second. Scroll down and then click apply between all pages. You can see that it has applied between all pages. But from this, you can see that this is too slow. So we need to fix the timing. And to do that, click on the design, then click timing here. We're going to change this to two seconds and click apply to all pages. Now, this is what we have. Now, this is coming together nicely. You can also add an animation to your text. You can add on character, lines, on the words, but for this, we'll leave it at elements. So we're going to show timing for this and I want to reduce the timing so that it is not entering into the second presentation. So once you click show timing, just like we did, we'll just drag this so it remains on the first slide and it does not bleed into the second slide. Let's play this. can see this is way better once you are done click share and then download as an mp4 video if you download as a png or as a presentation it won't show the transitions will not show so you need to download as mp4 video and you can increase the download quality if you want to and this is what we have. You can see how nice this is. You can use this for your presentations or for any other thing at all. Let me know if you found this helpful. See you in my next video. Toodles.